Hello friends, welcome to SR Technologies. Today we are going to discuss another SQL interview question which is asked in Zomato company for data engineering position. Let's jump into the question. So here, the question here, find the customer who have not made any order in last 90 days. Last 90 days. Assumption is here, if you order, but if it is not delivered, if it is not delivered, then we'll not consider that as a order, that as a order for that customer ID. So here we have order fact table, order fact table with five columns, with five columns, order ID, customer ID, order date, order status, order value. So with the data we here we have in table, right? It's a just four, four rows with two customers. One is 1001, another is 1002 with multiple transactions, multiple orders, which we have. So first case, if by seeing this data, right, we what we have to understand, first case is 1001 30th November 2023. The date we have today is December 5th. So this particular order is within 90 days and it is delivered. Then we cannot consider this record, this particular customer ID. And at the same time, 1002 customer ID, 27th November 2023. But it is present in the, within the 90 days. But what is the status of order status? So as per our assumption, this we, sh we should not consider this particular customer ID has been ordered. And second thing, for third third transaction, third order, 1001, 1st September 2023. But customer ID is same. Here also, here also. 1001 already ordered in within 90 days. So we should exclude exclusively, we can exclude this particular customer ID and 1002 27th August 2023 which means it is crossing 90 days so we can consider this as a delivered but it is crossing 90 days but within 90 days 1002 is this particular customer ID is ordered anything no so that is the reason we have to show this particular customer ID is in the output how we can do that how can we achieve the same thing with SQL let's <coughs> let's get into the SQL here so I have already prepared the data. I'll share this same thing with you in the same thing with you in the description, description of the video. Let's go ahead and query this. Here you can see four records, order IDs 1234 and customer ID 1001, 1002, 1002, 1001, 1002, four transactions. So first thing we have here, we have to understand two things. Okay, here we have to understand two things step by step we'll solve this particular question okay step by step we'll solve this particular question first is okay i have already done this before coming before uh creating the video so let me get into the first we have to identify the date differences first is step one is identify the identify the differences between between two dates two dates what is that order date Current date minus order date. Current date minus order date. Order date. Order date. Differences you have to identify as a days. Okay. Ninth, second thing is you have to identify. Second step is. Okay. Step two is. Okay. Step two is which is greater than 90 days. Which is greater than 90 days. Greater than 90 days. Find the customer greater than 90 days. First we'll solve this. Okay. Select. Select customer ID. Customer ID. Okay. Then we'll go with the we'll go with the what is that date difference. So how we can do that? So current nothing but a sys date in Oracle. We can use the sys date. Sys date is the function which is going to display the current date and order date. Order date where it is coming? It is coming from the table. From from where? Order fact table. From order fact table. First we'll identify the date differences. Okay, you can see here it is coming in a this way. So what we can do? Simply we can use the trunk function trunk function which is going to remove the decimal points decimal points nothing but a here we have a, some decimals right so we can remove that we can remove that now you can see days okay you can see days first is what 5 8 and 95 and 100 so what is the next thing which we have to understand here if the person is daily if the what is the next next thing is filter condition is it is greater than 90 days greater than 90 days where Okay, where, okay, where this particular customer ID, where this particular difference is greater than 90 days, greater than or equal to 90 days, 
then we should not consider, we should take that particular records. Okay, greater than or equal to 90 days, greater than or equal to 90 days. So this is the one thing. But here, if you understand, right, if you understand, one of the simple thing which we are missing here is, okay, one of the simple thing is we here we are missing. Okay, very, very important thing is, 101 is all, already ordered within 90 days. One, 101 is already ordered within 90 days. How? Let's go with the select star from. Okay, select star from. Select star from. Order factable. Order factable. Let me execute both the, both the queries at a time so that you can observe this difference. So here you can see. Okay, here you can see 101 95 days. Okay, both are coming. But if you uh, understand, 101 is ordered on when 30th November. We are in December 5th. So this thing also we have to exclude. We have to exclude. How we can exclude this? Simply what we can do. Okay. Simply what we can do. We can write the subquery. We can write the subquery for this. Subquery for this. How we can do that? Select, select customer ID. Okay. Customer ID from which table? Order fact table order fact table then okay where where trunk same thing here we can use the sys date or minus order date less than equals to 90 days less than equals to 90 days and delivery status deliver order status should be delivered order status should be order status should be delivered okay order st status should be delivered okay delivered because we have to exclude which is already ordered and as well as that particular order status is delivered, that particular customer, we have to exclude from the output, exclude from the output. Let's see here which customer it is. Okay. So this is I'm taking only for a couple of customers, even this particular logic, which is going to be applied for n number of customers. Now you can see same thing. 101 is there. Now what you can do simply you can add and condition and condition and customer ID and customer ID. Okay, not in, okay, not in an open bracket and you can write it up here, close bracket. So this is the way you can do it in a easy way. You can do it. You can solve this question in a easy way. So this is the one of the way to solve this. This is the one of the way to solve this. You can see, right? You can see here 101022 and 100. We are removing the 1001. So this is the one way to do that. And same thing, can we achieve with the, can we achieve with the, can we achieve with the CTEs, CTEs. Okay, simply what you can do, okay, simply what you can do with, okay, with, okay, with, you can mention that, with, you can mention that just delivered order, delivered order, because delivered order, nothing but a, you can consider as a delivered order, Okay, then what you can do here, simply you can write this query. Simply you can write this query. Whatever the query which I'm mentioning in subquery, right? You can write it up here. Okay, then you can close this. You can close this. Here you have to use what? Here you have to use as, as whenever you use CTE, right? Yeah, with CTE approach, this one. Okay, this is with CTE approach, approach. Okay. You can see here with a uh, delivered order, just you are keeping a, some temporary name for CTE and then you are writing this. This is the one thing and then select. Okay, select. What you have to select? You can select it simply. Okay, select customer ID. Okay, customer ID. Then what is the next thing you have to do? Okay, same thing. Trunk is date here you can mention. Okay, difference is date and from, okay, from, which table you have to check? You have to check order, order fact table, order fact table, order fact table. And then where, okay, where same logic, whatever you have applied, right? Where trunk equals to, okay, where trunk equals to this particular logic, you have to apply. You have to apply. Okay, we have to apply it. People might uh, comment in the comment section. So to avoid that, I'm doing this. Simply what you can do, you can do it. Select. Cust ID, okay, cust ID from, from which table? From this particular CTE, from this particular CTE. So same thing which we are going to achieve it, same thing which we are going to achieve it. Can we run this? Can we run this? Let's run it up, everything. You can see same thing here. You can see 
same thing. So instead of making it so complex, let's go with the simple subquery. Simple subquery and CTA also fine. Okay, according to your convenient, you can go ahead and you can do this. You can do this. That's it for the day, guys. Okay, subquery, subquery. Okay, and this is the CTA approach. Thank you, guys.